All right, I'm gonna start my in-cab air brake inspection. The first test I like to perform is my governor cutout. My governor should cut out no higher than 140 PSI. To perform this test, I'm gonna simply start my engine. Uh, to do so, I need to make sure I have a safe start. My brakes are out, truck is neutral, cover my brake and start my vehicle. My needle is moving, so I'm going to step on my gas pedal to speed up the process. All right, my needle has stopped rising, tells me my governor is cut out. My primary is at 130 PSI. I'm satisfied with that test. My next test is my governor cut in. My governor should cut in no less than 100 PSI. Now, to perform that test, I need to simply step on my service brake, release air from my tanks until my governor cuts in. I can now start my test. All right, I got no movement. I'm gonna step on my brake pedal one more time. I still got no movement, so I'm gonna step on my brake pedal one more time. All right, my needle is starting to rise. My primary was at 104. I'm satisfied with that test. My next test is my applied leakage test. In that test, my truck, I can't lose more than three PSI in a truck, four PSI in a combination vehicle, which is what I have in a one minute test. To perform that test, I need to first fill up my tanks, step on the pedal, to speed up the process. All right, my tanks are full. I can now turn my truck off. Place my key in the on position. And I will be chalking my vehicle because I will be releasing my parking and my trailer brake. My wheels are chalked. I can now release my parking and my trailer brake. I'm gonna wait for the initial drop in pressure. Okay, and I'm gonna give a full service application. Wait for my needles to stabilize. All right, my needle's stable. My primary is at 94, I'm sorry, 84. I can now start my one minute test. All right, 30 seconds has gone by. My primary is still at 84, I've lost zero pressure. All right, one minute has gone by. My primary is still at 84, uh, I've lost zero pressure. I'm satisfied with that test. <laughs> My next test is my lower light and buzzer test. In this test, my light and buzzer should activate between 55 and 75 PSI. To perform this test, I need to simply step on my service brake, releasing air from my tanks until my light and buzzer have activated. I can now start my test. All right, my light and buzzer have gone off. My primary is at 55. I'm satisfied with that test. I can now turn my truck off. My next test is my spring brake test. My spring brakes should pop out between 20 and 45 PSI. To perform that test, again, I need to step on my service brake, release air from my tanks until my trailer brakes pop out. I can start, I can now start my test. All right, my trailer brake has popped out. My secondary is at 41 PSI. I'm satisfied with that, and I'm gonna continue until my parking brake pops out. All right, my parking brake has popped out. My primary needle is at 25 PSI. I'm satisfied with that test. My next test is my parking brake test. 
Uh, to perform that test, I need to have a minimum of 100 PSI in my tanks. So I will uh, perform a safe start and fill up my tanks. Brakes are out, truck is in neutral, cover my brake, turn my key and start my engine. All right, while my tanks are filling, I'm gonna go outside and pick up my chocks. My chocks are picked up. In this next set of tests, I will be tugging and pulling on my brakes. So I'm gonna put on my seatbelt and I'm gonna ask you to do the same. I'm gonna step on my, uh, my needles are filling my tanks, or my compressor's filling my tanks. I'm gonna step on the gas pedal and speed up the process. PSI, I can now start my next uh, test. My first test will be my parking brake test. So I'm going to release my trailer brake, put my truck into low gear, and attempt to pull away. I felt a tug on my parking brake. I'm satisfied with that test. My next test is my trailer brake. I'm going to apply my trailer brake, release my parking brake, put my truck into low gear and attempt to pull away. I felt a tug on my trailer brake. I'm satisfied with that test. My next test is my handbrake test. Uh, to do that test, I need to release both my parking and my trailer brake, put my truck into low gear, apply my handbrake, and attempt to pull away. I felt a tug on my handbrake. I'm satisfied with that test. My next test is my five mile an hour service brake test. In this test, I need to release both my parking and my trailer brake, place my truck in a low gear, and get my truck rolling up to five miles an hour. Once I'm at five miles an hour, I will give a, a firm service application, making sure that my brake pedal works, first of all, and second of all, checking to see if my truck pulls left or right, which might indicate suspension or brake failure. And that concludes my in-cab air brake inspection.